I've been meaning to make a lesson about the principle of beam forming for some time now. But I also want to say something about vibe coding. Not least because vibe coding is the Collins Dictionary word of the year. So in this lesson, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. Beamforming is a technology that directs a radio signal coming from a transmitter towards the receiver. It's widely used in 5G mobile networks. It's also used in Wi-Fi, the radar and LiDAR systems of self-parking and self-driving cars, and even in medical imaging with ultrasound. The fundamental principle of beamforming is actually quite simple. You've no doubt seen the surface of a pond when you throw a couple of pebbles in. When wave crests or wave troughs collide, they reinforce each other, resulting in taller crests and deeper troughs. If a crest meets a trough, on the other hand, they cancel each other out. So you see this distinctive interference pattern. Let's do some vibe coding. I'm asking the co-pilot, AI, to write some program code to generate an animation of wave interference. And here's the code it's written for me. It's a mixture of HTML and JavaScript. With Copilot, I need to copy the code into a text editor and save it as a HTML file. Then I can view the output on a web page. But a lot of AIs will now let you run the code directly. Needless to say, I could have asked for this to be written in a different language, like Python. And here's the result, and it looks pretty good to me. It certainly compares well with real-world experiments that you might perform with a ripple tank. And when you examine the code, you can see that it's based on physics. I could have done this by hand, but it would have taken me several hours. I did this in a couple of minutes. Anyway, back to beamforming. The same principles of interference apply to radio waves. We can take a signal, duplicate it, and transmit both copies at the same time with separate antennas. Whenever a crest meets a crest, or a trough meets a trough, the waves will interfere constructively and reinforce each other. And if you're in the right place, you'll receive a better signal. Now, by altering the phase difference between the two signals being transmitted, we can redirect the lines of constructive interference, effectively steering the strongest parts of the overall signal. This is the essence of beam steering, or beamforming as it's otherwise known. In practice, beam steering makes use of an array of several antenna. Both the phase and the amplitude of each signal is varied to achieve accurate steering. This is something I would really like to illustrate with an animation. Ideally, an animation that I can interact with by varying the phase of the signal that comes from each antenna. So let's do some more vibe coding. I'm using Gemini this time, just for a change. I've given some thought to exactly what I want, and I'm trying to be as detailed and concise as I possibly can with my request. But you know, if I don't get what I want first time around, I'll just ask for it to be changed. It doesn't take long for the AI to come up with something. Here's the code. There's rather a lot of it. I can see some CSS styles, there's some HTML, and a few JavaScript functions, and it looks pretty complicated. Gemini has also included the principle of operation, which is great. It tells me that this is using physics to calculate the simulation properly, rather than just pushing pixels around. As before, I need to copy this into a text editor and save it as a web page, but I'm not going to change the code at all. And there it is. It's not exactly what I imagined, but it's on the way. I think I'd prefer something a little simpler, a little less colourful maybe, so I'm going to ask for some changes. Gemini can very quickly regenerate the code. And that's more like it. These drag bars are pretty much exactly what I wanted. 
but I can see it's had a bit of an issue showing the phase angles in terms of pi. I'm sure this is just a little formatting fix that it could easily do. Perhaps another drag bar to change the speed of the animation would be nice. I also like these buttons which I didn't ask for, but I think I'll keep them. They really do show how the beam can quickly switch direction. Now I'm thinking it would be nice to have the option to add more antennas to the array, to get more control over the beam. I suppose I'm starting to get a connection going with Gemini. We are vibing. By the way, a Wi-Fi access point with beamforming technology typically has between four and eight antennas working together, but other beamforming applications might use hundreds. The mathematics involved are complicated. They involve some fairly advanced trigonometry to calculate the steering matrix. And don't forget, the signals being transmitted are not simple sine waves. They've been modulated in clever ways to carry as much data as possible, which also requires some intensive computation. Fortunately, modern microprocessors can do all of this work easily and in real time.